thanking all the staff and clients uh, for their support and congratulate the, the, my fellow graduates. Uh, at one point, Nick was a mentee of mine, and one of the assignments we had to do uh, during phase three was write about what you did for your mentee that day. And Nick was always responsible. He knew what he was doing. He was always out there doing good, inspiring others. And for that question, several times I had to ask, is my mentee still here? Because I, I never saw him. I mean, he was always out doing good on his own, didn't need help. He, he was following the right path. Um, my other graduate, Sarah, from the first time I saw her in detox, uh, <laughs> first time I saw Sarah, uh, we were, it was her intake night. She was in detox. And she was yelling about not wanting her blood pressure taken. <laughs> she woke me up at 3 o'clock in the morning. And, and now here she is graduating and becoming a trainee. I mean, it's, she's definitely a role model. I think it's a great transformation. Um, and yeah, I mean, you're, you'll be great as a trainee. Uh, for staff, uh, from Marty and Jerry, they, they were the ones who took the time and effort to come to my house and pick me up to bring me here. And I recall it, Marty kicking down the door, Jerry tumbling in, and both of them, <laughs> both of them dragging me away. <laughs> I talked to Jerry today, she assured me that's not what happened. <laughs> I, I, I thank them both for, for taking that time um, to bring me here. Uh, Jeff and Kristen, uh, I was in detox for about two days, and I said, that's it, I've had enough, I'm ready to go home. And uh, Jeff and Kristen, I mean, they talked some sense into me, made me realize how important it was that I stayed here. And so I thank them for that. Um, PMCs, Jen, Sam, Mike, Michael, Miles, uh, all the other staff behind the scenes that make Elevate run as well as it does. Uh, Dallas, for all of his help, with my problems in life and the amends process. Uh, thanks to Doug for running such a tight ship and my one-on-one -on -one Scott uh, for always being there, good conversations whenever I needed it, um, helping me along the way. I'd also like to thank all the clients who supported me, even those who did not support my football team. <laughs> <laughs> you know who you are. <laughs> Special thank you to my family. Uh, they were my rock while I've been here and taking care of all the responsibilities around the house. Uh, just 30 days prior to me coming here, I was graduating a 30 day program myself. And uh, so I've been, I've been away quite a lot this year. I've been away for a total of 120 days. And you know, they've, they've had their hands full. Uh, my wife is the one who made the call to bring me here, and so I appreciate that. Um, my dad, my son, my daughter, my daughters, uh, for visiting whenever possible, and always being a phone call away if I needed to talk to anybody. Uh, if it wasn't for you all, uh, my life would be completely upside down. Before coming here, I had already lost my job. Tensions were high at home. I had no motivation to do anything. Um, I know I wasn't a bad person, I was just making really bad decisions. Uh, sticking with the program for 90 days from start to finish, that was the best decision I've made in a long time. Throughout the program, uh, the ability just to be able to sit with my emotions and knowing they would come and go, uh, it's one of the main things I'll be taking away. You don't have to act on your first impulse. Uh, just, just kind of acknowledge how you're feeling. Um, They'll come and go, or one of the assignments we have is leaves down the stream. You know, just attach that emotion to a leaf and you know, watch it flow on by. Um, that'll definitely help me in the future avoid triggering thoughts and negative self-talk. 
Uh, by remaining positive, I'll be able to stay motivated to continue growing. Uh, there's there's one assignment in phase in phase four uh, that compares progress towards sobriety as rowing upstream. If if you ever stop rowing, if you ever stop trying, uh, then you go backwards. And, you know that. Yeah, yeah, it's going to take effort. I'm a work in progress. It's going to take continual effort. Uh, mindfulness, it'll allow me to continue with everything from sleeping better to remaining present, not dwelling on the past, worrying about an unknown future. Uh, with mindfulness, I'll be able to make better choices today and every day to stay on course to where I want to be in the future, living a sober life and being the best me I can be. Thank you.